Hey guys, welcome to another video for my creative year. Um, this month, the month of November, we, as I said in the intro video for the month, are working with bright colors and I pulled out this neon watercolor palette. This is probably the brightest palette of paints I have in my art room. And I said, you know, get out those bright paints, maybe the neons, and those paints, those colors, those bright colors maybe that you don't work with much and let's work with them this month. So we're gonna do that. First thing I'm gonna do is this is dollar store drawing paper. It comes in a sheet that's like about nine by 12. So I cut it, I usually cut them in half. So I have two six inch pieces. And that's cause that's perfect for my art journals and for what I use it for. Um, and we are going to make just some watercolory random mark, marked backgrounds. Just, we're not gonna try to paint anything in particular any particular picture, if you will, quote unquote. So I'm gonna just grab a color. I'm gonna grab this orange. This is light orange. These are all different brands of paints. So some of them are uh, from ja some Japanese brands. Some of them are from a New York paint company. They're all different brands, but look how, how bright is that? Holy cow, can you even see how bright that is on camera? That's crazy bright. So I'm just going to put some down. I'm going to make some marks. I'm going to grab another color, maybe this pink. You can, of course, just go to Amazon and put in like, um, you know, neat, uh, fluorescent watercolors or fluorescent paints. If you want to do it with acrylics, you can totally do that. There's plenty of acrylics out there. I'm going to take some water, just plain water. I'm going to do this. I'm going to take a straw. This is harder to do because this is drawing paper and the paint doesn't want to move too much. It soaks right in, um, but you can do it. I'm going to, this is just a piece of watercolor car, uh, paper. I'm going to actually dip it in one of the colors of paint just to make some marks. So I want you to create, I also have a sea sponge, which I might use. So I'm going to make some random marks, make some random paper and let it dry. I'm going to speed forward through the process and I'll be back.
Okay, now that our brightly colored collage papers are dry, um, and I've grabbed a few other papers and some of my sticker flakes and things, we're gonna work on actually making something out of that. So I've got my um, art journal here that I've been working on for a while. And it's a Moleskin weekly notebook, weekly, yeah, weekly notebook. It's from 2017, 2018, so it's an old one that I'm repurposing to be an art journal. And we are gonna just go to the next available page. I do wax my pages and I have um, started going to using mostly um, matte finish paints in my journal. Uh, journals because they're not sticky and when you close your journal the pages don't stick together you don't really have to wax them or anything if you've art journaled for a while you know exactly what I'm talking about uh, but I got in the habit a long time ago with most of my art journals of um, even if they're waxed like this one is and that there should be a piece of paper there I usually that's why there's all these loose ones in the front I usually take a piece of wax paper I've cut and I just, I put it in there anyway, because I have found sometimes, depending on what I've used on the page, there is not enough wax paper on the planet. Y'all know what I'm talking about. And the pages stick together anyway. So um, I cut a bunch of sheets of wax paper and I've kind of just been going through here and sticking them in there. You can get, you know, your wax paper at the Dollar Tree. It doesn't have to dollar or whatever dollar store you have. Usually you can get a brand and that whatever brand they have works just fine. But most of my journals just have lots of like wax paper sticking out the edges at this point. I'm okay with it. So that's why it looks that way. So we're going to turn to the next available page, which is this one. I am going to and turn the journal back on itself because it's starting to get a little bit full and puffy. And so it'll give me a flatter surface to work on. We'll clip it open. There we go. So, oh, I need to put these in. Ah, uh, yeah, yeah, what am I thinking? <laughs> okay, so let's put these in. And these just help me from getting the rest of the journal too messed up and having the pages get all stuck together. Again, I don't care if the edges are marked up necessarily, but um, if they all get stuck together because I've gotten sloppy with the paint and then I have to try to break them apart and then something rips. And you see where I'm going with that scenario, right? It's very annoying. Okay. So we are gonna have the main focus of our journal page be our bright colors because that's what we're focusing on this month. And I would love, I, since I saw the prompt, I kind of wanted to get my neon paints out and use them on a journal page to see what I could do. So, and I do still have the paints out on the table, like off that way off camera, uh, if I need them. We of course are gonna balance them with some dark because that will make it show up the most. So I'm gonna grab my Bic ballpoint pen, my favorite pen, um, my Sharpie fine point, and a pencil I don't use that much anymore because I just forget about it, which is, if I can find it, nice to be low all pencil, ta-da, okay. And um, so we're gonna do something interesting, I think. So my focus, on the page is gonna be creating some movement on the page, which I've talked about in videos before on my channel. Um, creating some movement on the page. I'm not concerned with covering the entire background. I like working in the moleskins um, because they have lines and dates and numbers. And I already think of that as texture and part of the background of the page. So I don't necessarily wanna cover all of it up, but I wanna create some movement on the page and of course a message, that's usually what I do. I like to use an app well, I mean, you could just Google it. You don't have to download this app, and I'm. this is not a sponsored video or anything. Um, <clears throat> I use an app called Zira Quotes, Z-Y-R-A, and every day um, when you open it, it has a different quote. Now, if the quote, I'm usually you trying to use the quote in a journal page, so if the quote doesn't appeal to you, you can just swipe left, and you can keep doing that until you find a quote that you do like. 
This one was kind of funny. If you're too open-minded, your brains will fall out. That's actually kind of funny. And <laughs> um, I think we all need a good laugh right now, right? So I might actually use that one, so we'll see. Um, and then I can also share to like Facebook from the um, app. So I will be, uh, after I finish creating the page, um, I will be sharing the quote that I used directly to the My Creative Year Facebook group. So um, let's kind of have that, your brain's falling out, in the back of our mind. And we're gonna take a plain piece of white paper to start. And I'm gonna zoom in. We'll get a number two pencil. And my glasses so I can see what I'm doing. Well, it's not a number two pencil, but we use this. So something I've been doing lately is creating sort of a meme of my face um, in my journals. And I, I do just hand draw them. At some point I might made a, make a sticker out of it. But So I just lightly use a pencil and draw sort of a, a roundish, ovally shape. I do have sort of a round head, so. Loose, sketchy pencil lines. Okay, can you even see that? I don't even know if you can see that. Let's see. Yeah, there you go. So, then I'll put a neck. I don't have a long neck and I have sort of a fat neck, so it is what it is. And then I'll put some features on. Now, if you have straight hair, you want to, you know, draw your uh, meme, your face to have straight hair. If you have curly hair or wavy hair, you want to do it that way. I have this mouth line sort of going up and sort of a smile and then I'll just like hint at the bottom lip. Now, I like that quote. It says something about your brains falling out. I think that's actually funny. So what if we took the head and we sort of cracked it. Open. Try to sort of mimic the shape that we have going on over here. And then what if coming out of it we just have like hearts. I didn't plan this ahead of time, by the way. I literally am just thinking of this while it's on camera. Something like that. Now, because I want it to be sort of my face, oh. I usually have a t-shirt on and leggings, so we're not gonna we're just gonna draw from like the shoulders up, so we'll put a t-shirt neckline. And then my hair is sort of wavy curly, like the grayer it gets, the more curly it gets. So I just do some curly lines. And then we'll do some over here. Okay, something like that. I know you probably can't see a ton of that on camera because of the pencil, but once you have a sketch that you like, and I'm gonna ink everything in at least the lines that I like.
Okay, let it dry for a second. And we want to take an eraser to it as soon as I find my eraser, because you know, I cleaned over here, and so finding the eraser can be challenging. So then you go in and erase the pencil lines. gel pen. If you let your pencil dark lines or your pen marks dry a little bit, they won't smudge like that. So I'd recommend you let them dry a little bit. Let me get a couple markers. Hang on. Really, when I color her in, I keep it pretty simple. I have gray hair. I've let it go gray. It's natural color during COVID. So, you know, these are highlighter markers, by the way, if anybody's asking. I like to get the highlighter markers that come in interesting and unique colors. These are Java Powerline 2500. This is mild gray, and then I picked up mild pink, and I have a white gel pen. So I'm going to just color in the hair. Okay, I'm going to give her some pink cheeks. I'm also going to color the hearts in. And this is a, because this is a highlighter pen, even though it's called mild pink, it's very bright. But again, you have to balance your bright and light colors with your dark colors, I think, to really make them pop. Now for the cheeks, I usually have gotten the habit of going over it with some white gel pen. And then just kind of dabbing it with my finger just to make it a little less like bright. Of course, I have a love-hate relationship with my gel pens, so that's kind of a thing. hair is gray, it's like silver. This pen just does not want to work. Let's try a different one. That could be the one that I've been having issues with. I tore up the paper a little bit, but that's okay. My pen downstairs works fine, but the ones up here don't want to work so much. Let's try. I gave up on the, these two. They're going in the Project Pan Art Supply box. I think they're both dried up, so we're going to just grab a new one. Yep, that one works great. And then while the gel pen is um, wet, just dab it with your finger. Now again, those were kind of dried up, so they tore up the paper a little bit, but that's okay. We can work with it. And then I'm gonna put some sort of white highlights in her hair, because my hair is silver gray, and it just makes it pop. And just make yourself a little meme. So now we're gonna cut her out. Sort of roughly go um, cut the shape out. I usually leave a little bit of a border 
just because fussy cutting is not my favorite thing, I'm lazy, you of course can cut it out more in, in a more detailed fashion if that's your thing. Um, I do think I wanna go in here. some of that out like that okay now we're gonna bring the journal back yeah that's gonna be cute on the page let me zoom out a bit so you can see the whole thing there we go now I'm gonna arrange some of my neon papers in a way that make this really pop. Yeah, so, okay. Let's get to getting, shall we? All right, let's put her aside and let's put some of the neons in the back. And I'm kind of getting the idea, do I want to take one of these neons and cut a bunch more hearts out? and put those on the background. And I think that is what I wanna do. So we're gonna just do the whole old grade school thing. bunch of hearts out. Oh yeah, I can kind of picture where this is going to go and it's going to be really cute. So let me get everything glued on. I'm going to speed forward through my process and I'll be right back.
Okay, I really like the unexpected movement in the page. I'm kind of debating about whether it needs something here or not. I don't know that it does. I'm, I'm kind of liking the way it's looking at the moment without anything in between the two, the two main focal points. I like that the hearts and the strings holding the hearts coming out of her head um, are just kind of connecting everything. I kind of like that, so I think I'm gonna leave it. So simple, quick, easy, using bright colors to really make it pop. An unexpected quote, which I will actually share right now in the My Creative Year Facebook group. You click on Newsfeed and then Group, My Creative Year, Post. All right, I'm gonna get this video edited really quick and I'm gonna get it up in the group too. I hope you enjoy. I would really love for it to see you all try like making your own sort of meme. It doesn't have to look like you look like you, but like for instance, I have uh, very long, wavy, curly gray hair, and so and kind of a short, fat neck and a round face. So you know, use some features um, that kind of make you stand out, and then create sort of a cartoony kind of meme image of, of yourself that you can use in your work, and um, then you know do that over and over and having words or a quote on your page um, to express how you're feeling is not a bad thing and for those questioning it the places where the pen didn't want to write is because the glue stick is wet um, and this kind of distressed piece of paper is one that I created in a live broadcast on my channel not long ago I'll link it in the video description using homemade um, dyes and then this is just plain lined paper nothing special stuff from the dollar store all right, that's it for the minute. I'll see you next month in the next video. I've got something special planned. I've got to wait for some parts to come in that I had to order and it's gonna be exciting. We're gonna go out with a bang for 2020, right? But a good bang. <laughs> All right, that's it. I'll be back.